Let's start introduction to natural language processing. In this module, we will cover two types of datasets, structured and unstructured. Then we will discuss a specific type of unstructured dataset, X data. After that, we will develop understanding about what is natural language processing. And finally, we will see some business use cases of NLP. The first topic is types of datasets. Any form of a dataset can be classified into two categories. The first type is structured dataset and the other type is unstructured dataset. Let's discuss the properties and examples of these datasets in detail. A dataset having fixed number of dimensions, that is fixed number of keys and values, or fixed number of rows and columns is called a structured dataset. This form of a dataset contains information in a well-organized form. Generally, a structured dataset is present in a tabular format, relational databases such as SQL or key value pairs. For example, consider a dataset containing details about employees such as employee name, employee department, their hiring date, etc. This dataset has defined number of columns and rows, that is, the dimensions of this dataset are fixed and thus is an example of a structured dataset. Some other examples are a table containing recordings of annual temperatures for different locations or a JSON object containing the details about student marks in the exam in which different key value pairs represent information about the students. In contrast to structured datasets, the other form of datasets is the unstructured dataset which lacks any particular structure and do not have any fixed dimensions. This essentially means that unstructured data can take any form. Different types of unstructured data are audios, videos, images, and text. For example, consider a dataset containing images of dogs and cats, or a dataset containing the video recordings of a road highway. These datasets are the examples of unstructured data because when these images and videos are processed by machines, they are converted into long texts of bits and bytes in which humans cannot identify the right information or context. This also means that information present in the unstructured dataset cannot be represented in a well-defined tabular format. Let's talk about text data, which is one form of the unstructured data. The most prominent examples of text data available on internet are social media data which contains tweets and posts, conversation data which contains messages, emails and chats, or articles data which comprises of news and blogs. So a text data is essentially any written form of a natural language such as English, Russian or Japanese. It consists of characters or words arranged together in a meaningful and a formal manner, which means that text data is driven by the grammar rules and defined structures. Now that we have discussed text data, let's talk about natural language processing. Natural language processing or NLP is the branch of data science which deals with deriving useful information from the text data. It contains several different techniques and processes which are used to analyze, understand and utilize the text data for solving business needs. Often we come across a term called applied NLP which means the use of NLP for designing and developing applications or systems in which there exists an interaction between machines and natural languages. Let's look at some of the examples and use cases of NLP. Take the first example of a smartphone brand who wants to find the most relevant consumer and audience preferences about their smartphones, which will help them to improve the sales of their new smartphone models. The company can make use of NLP by monitoring social media posts and tweets. From this data, they can understand the most talked about issues or problems related to smartphones and they can find the corresponding audience sentiments associated with them. The company can then work upon the most important issues and causes of negative sentiments. Let's take the another example of a telecom company who wants to automatically categorize the customer queries to respective departments. This way, the company can reduce the time taken to resolve a customer query. The company found out that most of the time goes into identification of department, which is most relevant to a given customer query. The company can create a NLP solution by analyzing the top keywords and phrases of the query 
they can map those keywords and phrases to the descriptions of the respective departments and finally they can come up with a model or business rules for automatic categorization and assignment of queries to the respective department in other example a hospital wants to identify the patients which are at a risk of cancer the hospital can analyze the history of patients which includes diseases and drugs prescribed to them in the past the data used in this process will be doctor notes patient prescriptions and other past medical records the hospital can identify key entities from the patient history such as the names of the drugs prescribed to them in the past or the symptoms that patient has shown in the past this information can be modeled together using business rules to classify the risk level of the patients so in the next video we will look at basics of python thank you